In this how-to video, we're going to be looking at how to override the z-index of an object in Adobe Muse. So today I was putting together uh, the how-to videos page on my website. And you can scroll down here and you click this and a light box would appear with the video playing on top, except the text underneath here was forcing itself on top of the uh, video player. Because I first had to find out where uh, that object is. So we go in Chrome, you can go, you can right click anywhere, say inspect element. And we're gonna look around, it was somewhere around in here. There it is right there. So the ID is U8092. And then we go to Adobe Muse and anywhere on the page, you can just insert HTML. And I'll put this in the description on YouTube, but this right here, U8092, that is the uh, light box where the uh, videos will play. And we're gonna force that way up top. Now I've already done this, so I'm not gonna hit okay. I'm gonna hit cancel. And it will create a little box and you can just move it off to the side or put it somewhere, it's not actually going to appear anywhere. So this is how you put in your own custom code if you need to, and in this case, unfortunately, I needed to. So uh, once that was there, I hit save, uploaded it uh, to the site, and as you saw just a moment ago, the video is on top. 